on top of the morning to y'all this morning over here. Look here, we over here at uh, the tenth day of Sheshavan, 5783 on the Hebrew side, praise God, hallelujah. And over here on the Gregorian side, we are the eleventh month, fourth day of 2022. Alrighty then, we are counting down on our way to Passover, praise God, hallelujah. Praise God. I'm over here in the epistle of John. I just read through that first chapter, but I bumped into something here in chapter 2 this morning. I just had to get out there to y'all. Praise God. Check this out. I'm going to start reading chapter 2, verse 1. It says, My little children, these things write I unto you, that you sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins. You notice how the writer included himself in that? Because we all still have sin. I don't care if you give your heart to God or not. You still live in this flesh, and you're still going to have sin. You're still going to be unclean before God, and that's why we needed the Lamb of God to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Praise God. So check this out. Here we are. Verse, uh, verse 2. And he is the propitiation of our sins, and not for ours only, but also... For the sins of the whole world. And hereby we do know that we know him. Now this is how you know if you know God or not. He says, if we keep his commandments. Now he wasn't talking about this New Testament. He was living the New Testament. He was referring to the old Torah. That's right, the Torah. He was talking about the old commandments. He said, now, we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments, right? He's talking about the Ten Commandments of Moses, and I'm sure he was aware of that 618 commandments because he was, he was writing from that uh, perspective and coming out of that. Now it's the time of the Gentiles he's living in now, see? That's a different study, different day. So verse 3 says, and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. He that saith, I know him, and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him so how many brothers out there so that's one thing you can test them by there on sunday morning or the first day of the week i'm sorry i'm trying to break myself with saying the names of the months and saying the names of the days i'm trying to train myself to number those days because that's how our father set this whole thing up in the very beginning he said the first second third fourth fifth and sixth seventh day of the week he said the first Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve months of the year. You know, he didn't name none of these things. He numbered them, okay? And it wasn't until later on when we come up to the Hebrew calendar, the ecclesiastical calendar, they started calling the names of the months out as far as Hebrew names, not Gregorian names. All the Gregorian names mean something wicked. All the Hebrew names, for the most part, back in the day, they only meant holy things, things of uh, nature. This whole book is wrapped around agriculture. Read it. <laughs> That's what it's about. It's about agriculture and your heart. <laughs> and it's the greatest salvation story that will ever be heard in the ear of the created. <laughs> so anyway, let's get back to this. Verse 4 says, And he, he that saith, he, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoso keepeth his word in him, Verily is the love of God perfected hereby. Know we that we hear, we are in him. He that saith, I, he abideth in him, ought himself also so to walk, even as he walked. Brethren, I write no new commandment unto you, but an old commandment, which you have from the beginning. That old commandment is the word which you have heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write unto you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is past, and the true light now shineth. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even until now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth 
because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because you have known the Father. I have written unto you, fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, because you are strong, and the Lord and the word of God abideth in you, and you have overcome the wicked one. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father but is of the world. And the world passes away and lusts thereof, but he that do the will of God abides forever. <laughs> Meditate on these words. I'm telling you, these are words of life. This is the light, the word of the Father himself. Let this reign richly in you, in your heart and in your mind. Repent, repent, repent. I say repent. For the time is at hand. Y'all have a good day in Jesus. Get in your book and read.